Hey everyone, Beth here from Corner Piece Studio. Welcome, I'm thrilled you're here. Um, thank you for being patient. Um, doing a little bit better with the COVID, getting better. Um, still have a wicked headache and all, but doing all right. Um, I wanted to come in today to show you some things that I've been working on while I have been laid up. I wanted to do something and all I could do was just pick and glue paper. So want to show you what I've been doing. I've been using this little journal that I made from a half sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock and um, printer paper, half, half pages of uh, printer paper. I gave myself a challenge of using one magazine to fill this, to fill this um, journal not journal with this glue book so that's what i've been doing and this is a chronogram magazine which is a local magazine and it's from october of 2023 so everything in here is from this magazine only I'm not using anything extra there are 15 i think 15 pieces of paper in here so that's 60 pages, 60 front and backs, or 30 spreads. So let me show you what I've done so far, and then maybe we'll work on a little bit while, while we're here. Okay, here is the witch that was a toasting witch that was in. Oh, I did, I just want to tell you, I did staple my pages in at first, and then as I was working on it, I was noticing that they were going to start popping out so i used a three hole pamphlet stitch to sew them in and i started from the outside to the inside so my knot is on the outside i didn't want my knot to get caught in the middle of a page so so that's why that's on the outside so here is the cover the toasting witch here's the first page and there's many different pieces. The girl was a piece. These words from a different piece. This was from its another piece, page, another page, another page. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six pages going on here in this one picture. It came out pretty cool. And here's the first one. Behind the veil. I saw this guy and I knew he had to go on. Then I found a road rage um, poem that was in there. So, and the mice are like, oh, uh, really? Okay, so let's see what's next. I not, I'm not doing them in order because if you do your pages in order, they kind of just start scooting out. So I'm going um, randomly in here. Okay, I took her eyes. This is a page I'm going to be working on in a few minutes. I think I figured out what I want to do. <clears throat> Here's another one. These were all uh, books that were featured in there. Let's see what else. Oh, here's my center. There's my center. It looks like he's sitting and talking to the pumpkin. The pumpkin is the, oh, uh, the wise one here. And see, I would have had a knot in the center here, and I didn't want that. So I put my tie to the outside. What else do I have here? Oh, here's another one. Oh, this is a fun one. I like this. Hudson River. A bunch of different pages here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different pages so far. And this one's not done yet. See, not, none of them are really done yet. But they're getting there. And here, that's another one. One, two, three, four, five different pages so far featured. And the back. This is back here. It shows 1023, 30 years of chronogram. That's the issue I used. And this is the little picture from the inside. See, there's the cover. That's from the inside as to what the cover looked like. So that's how I'm doing it. So... All right, let's get back to these eyes. I think I figured it out. I have um, 
three envelopes that I've glued together. This has little scrap edges. This has fussy cut pieces and pictures I'm going to use. And this has words. So whatever is left over and hanging out, I will put in there. So I hope you all are doing well today. I'm trying to feel better, but not easy. All right, I'm going to use this to go in there. You can tear out, you can cut out. I don't mind the tearing out. You can cut it out, you can use a, a, a knife, whatever you want to get your page out. All right, I'm going to cut this words off. I don't want the words, I just want the picture above it. There. Maybe I'll save that for later, I don't know. Okay, I was thinking of putting this to here. I'm gonna trim this off a little bit. So yeah, my husband and I, we've had a little bit of a rough go here. So supposedly I'm supposed to go back to school tomorrow, go back to work. We'll see. I'm starting to feel better now this afternoon. If you asked me this morning, I would have told you, uh, nope. But now I'm doing better. Better, better, better. Okay, so I think I'm going to do that. Okay. So let me get some glue on here. And, uh, and we'll put it on. I'm using, I don't know, some... We'll see how it sticks. We'll see how it stays. I'm not sure where I got it or what kind it is. I'm just going to bend her eyeballs down a little bit so I can get this in here. All right, that's good. So I'm just doing a glue book here, challenging myself to use one magazine to fill a glue book. There's really not much thought going on here. Just seeing things I like and cutting and gluing. So I needed to do something. It was all, about all I could handle. <clears throat> it's been a little bit of a rough go. But doing well now. Heading, headed to the healthier side of things. Now that I got this on here, I just want to, I'm going to fold it to the edge. I'm going to fold it to my edge so I can see where I need to cut. So, yep, it's Super Bowl weekend here in the States. we got a good game going on later this evening. Looking forward to it. Going to make a nice pizza for us. I love making homemade pizza. I get the um I get the uh pre-made dough ball from the local um food store, Hannaford's here. And then um where I put my own sauce and cheese and pepperoni and broccoli on it and make it good. I have this great pan that cooks really well. So that's good. There she is. Got her eyes. She's peeking up like the lady of the hill is looking up. See this page won't be done today. I'm just um getting it started. Let's see what I have in here that might work for across the top there. Let's see if I have any bigger scraps. Ooh, yes. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, it won't fit because of that, but that will fit. 
So that will fit. Okay, so I'm going to cut that there. And then I'm going to tail my edge to make it a little uneven. Everything doesn't have to be cut straight and made straight. Your edges can be torn and wavy because the sky is not straight. The sky is wavy. Our brains are wavy. Mine's foggy. <laughs> but uh, there we go. Put that in my put that in there. Let's see. That works. Well, that works. So I just wanted to come in and show you different things that you can do. If you're kind of stuck and you're where you're not feeling well, but you want to do something, and just grab a magazine. You could grab Better Homes and Gardens. You could grab Family Circle. You could grab any magazine. You could grab the um, food magazines from the store. You won't get very many people in it, but you'll get a lot of other good foodie it foodie pictures. Um, this magazine I really like because the, there is <clears throat> a lot of variety. And I'll go through it with you real quick. There's pictures of homes. There's people. There's words. Like these two. I'm going to use them on a page in there. I'm not sure where yet. I'm not sure what I'm using here. I like the words here because what I did is I used the words right here from one page and that I'm not sure then there's also great colors there's a purple here which I've been using um, and cut these out these can make little this little pot could be uh, a neat little addition because what I did back here whoops sorry is I cut this out of one page and just stuck it on and this out of another page and stuck it on as a little addition so I'm gonna put this in there so I can show you so there's a lot of little things that you can cut out and a lot of words like these animals can get cut out and used in there Come on, don't mess up the so and there's other animals and just whole bunches of different sorts of things that could be used for background like this could be part of a background and then just use your own pick your own and just leave those words or the word families and trust so and this could be its own background in fact that is going to be a background I'm going to use that on a page as a background and we'll see what we can do with that maybe is he still here? Yep, maybe he can go on. I'll cut him out and put him on the bed. Who knows? And this house can get cut out and be used as a background. So a lot of stuff that you can... This would be another great background. There's a lot of stuff that you can use. And then this bear, he can get... Yogi can get cut out and stuck in here somewhere. And these can be backgrounds. These can get cut out. These bones and things can get cut out and put on. Eat, play, stay. You can use those words in it. So there's just a bunch of things that you can do with a magazine. This one has a lot of good things in it because it's just so, has so many different things. And look, big emotions. That could be a good center page. So, because I still have a bunch of pages to go. And even this, put this on there. It's just, it's a local magazine. Tells you about different things going on, different people in the community, what they're doing, um, different art things that might be going on. Like this guy is um, from uh, Kingston area. He, he does a lot of music at the uh, Kingston Farmer's Market. And then look, this I love. Look at all these people. That's where I got those people. So there's a lot of stuff in there. There's food. 
there's poetry, there's other awesome pictures that you can use, or parts of it you can use, or just people, you can just cut her out and make her as the focal point. Um, it's just endless what's in here. See, here's the hat <clears throat> that goes on top of her. She was on this page somehow here. So I just love the eyes and wanted to pull that out. Like Mother Earth is peeking out to see what's going on. Making sure we are taking care of her stuff. Even goes up to Athens, um, Duchess County. Excuse me, and then you also have your horoscope and stuff in here. And then here's all the different covers for Chronogram for 30 years. And then here's some other little pictures I might cut out and add somewhere. So there's a lot in here. There's a lot I can do yet. So that one page is started. It's not done. I do have other things that I will add to it later. But for now, that's on there. I just wanted to pop in so you could to say hi and thank you all for hanging around and staying around and waiting for me to recover so um, we can get on having some more fun. I do have some projects and things in mind that I would like to do that I have um, come across online and um, we'll go from there. So if you're new here, welcome. Please press like and subscribe so you can see more of the content that I'm going to have coming up soon. Oops, sorry about my camera. And if you've been here for a while, thank you. Thank you so much. And once I'm feeling better, I'm going to go through my list and I will work on doing a shout out to people who are new here, people who comment. Please leave a comment. I do respond. Um, things you, you like, things you'd like to see, and any ideas of anything that you have whatever just leave a comment below and i will get back to you so for now folks i will see you in a few days once i'm feeling even better better and for now thank you for being here and i'll talk to you soon bye now